Hi developers, we are going to see the new features available in Java 22 which is just released today March 19th 2024. You can download OpenJDK 22 from this web page. I will provide the link in the description. Here are the major 7 features in Java 22. So let's see one by one. The first feature is unnamed variables and patterns. Sometimes uh, we have to define some variables that we don't even need or don't even going to use it. So uh, for example, uh, on catch blocks, we will be defining an exception object, but we are we will not use it further. Similarly, in some lambda parameters, we will not use. So instead of that, we can use the variable underscore. So which means uh, it is an unnamed variable. So let's see an example for that. Yeah, I mean in my IntelliJ. So. I am having this main class which is having two static methods show example 1 and example 2 so here if you see I am having one uh, try and catch block so this catch block is catching number format exception here we are creating an uh, instance for the number format exception but we are not using it anywhere within this catch block so if I run this yeah, I got an error not a number so instead of defining this instance what we can do we can use the underscore if I run this as well the same output I am getting similarly this example to consist of a for each method so where we have the lambda parameter i which we are not using so we are simply printing hello uh, with the count of or with the size of the list so I am running example 2 so hello is printed 4 times as the size of the list is 4 so now instead of this unused parameter we can able to rename it with underscore now I am running it yeah I am getting the same output so this is nothing but unnamed variables so now let's see the second feature launch multi-file source code programs so you know already from Java 11 we can able to run a single Java file without compiling it using Java C but now from Java 22 we it is supported for multiple Java programs or multiple Java classes at a single time so let's see an example for this Yeah, I am having two classes one is greeting which is simply having one static method greet and I am having an another class hello which is having a main method and which is invoking the greet method of this greeting so 
to make it more clear i will open the classes uh, under the windows explorer and show you yeah so here uh, we are having the two java class files i am having two command prompts parallelly one is having java 21 so if i simply see this is java 21 and this is java 22 So now I will try to run this particular hello dot java in java 21 first as I'm I'm from different path so I will copy this path entire path i'm passing a variable world here which is an argument sorry i have run it using java 22 so in order to run from java 21 yeah so here you can see we are getting this error cannot find symbol for greeting i have already run it using java 22 but anyway i will run it again here it is running without any issues so this hello dot java is internally having this greeting reference but it is working fine here so to working to work this to make this work this uh, both the classes sh should be present in the same uh, folder so this is what multiple multiple file launch support the next one is local dependent list patterns in java 2020 we have a new list format class so which will uh, convert the convert your list into a formatted continuous text let's see the example first so i'm having this main method where i have a list of strings it has three elements earth wind and fire so now i have used this list format class from java 22 and i have used the local france list format type as or and list format style as full so these three parameters you can check from the java documentation and i am using the format method of this particular formatter now let's see what will happen i'm getting the list in a sentence format maybe i can change this france to us which you can understand more earth wind or fire so instead of or we have standard as well so this will print and earth wind and fire yeah that's all about the list format class the fourth feature is implicitly declared classes and instance main methods you know already for the newcomers to java the java class with the main method is so confusing in order to remove unwanted stuffs they bring a new feature in java 22 which is a preview version here 
so let's see an example for implicit class so I'm having one main dot Java class if you see here I don't have any class explicitly defined instead I simply have a main method which is not also having the arguments I'm having another static method greeting and I'm invoking here so let's see what happens yeah it is working fine with Java 22 So for the newcomers to Java, there is no need to confuse with the class. So you can straight away start with your main method first. Let's see the next feature. The fifth feature is stream gatherers. We know already from Java 8 we are having a stream API. But they are introducing some new intermediate methods like window fold and many more so let's see an example for this yeah I'm having one main class with main method and here are the list of strings or the list of words I'm having and I'm using the stream API if you notice here in this line number 12 I have used gather and the gatherers which is nothing but it is an intermediate function the gather is an intermediate function let's see what these gatherers have it is have window fixed window sliding fold scan etc multiple methods we are having so let's first try with window fixed if I run this with the output you can guess what the functionality of this as you guessed it is correct so it splits the list into the list of list with each list having only two items in it so this 8 the single list of 8 elements is split into 4 list of 2 elements so if I change this to window sliding you may know about the sliding window problem so it is similar to that only you see here first we have D and B and then we have B and 2 so this window is sliding one by one but still each list is having the size of 2 as we mentioned the window size is 2 here the sixth feature is string template now we can able to assemble the strings at runtime using string interpolation with variables and calculated val values the syntax will be backward slash flower braces and inside that we can print the value or the variable let's see the example for this string template I'm having one main class with main method and two integer variables I'm trying to use I'm trying to print this a times b is equal to multiplicated answer here so here this is the syntax for string interpolation we need to use str which is nothing but the string template dot and inside this string I have printed the integer a here and the integer b here and the multiplication result of a and b here so let's try to run this and check 
if you see here 4 times sorry 5 times 4 is equal to 20 so this is how the string interpolation works in Java 22 so before going to the final feature Java 22 is not limited with these 7 features these are all just the top 7 features that I am telling you so the next one is statements before super so as you know already we may need to invoke the super constructor as the first statement in a constructor call but now we can able to have some more code statements before the super constructor call let's see an example for this so I am having two classes one is rectangle another is square and the square class is extending the rectangle so here I am having the constructor where I am having one new statement before this super constructor call the IntelliJ is still giving me an error as a uh, super constructor we are calling uh, as a second line but from Java 22 it is a preview feature that we can use so I have created one instance for the square object so now let's run it you can see uh, it is run successfully so important note is to run this preview features we need to have this flag hyphen hyphen enable preview flag must be added in the Java execution statement that's all the top 7 new features in uh, Java 22 thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like and share thank you